Patagonia Lithium announced that it successfully taken first Packer essay tests from its Fomentera concession. Phil Thomas is executive chair. Phil, welcome to mining.com.au. Thank you, Michael. Great to be here. Tell us about those essay results. Okay, so it's really exciting. We're we're down to uh, 119 metres and we assayed from 98 metres to 104 metres. So um, effectively, we've got a five metre interval. Um, the actual packer um, is filled up with nitrogen uh, when it's down to that level and that went successfully. That's always um, a bit uh, of a risk at times when you're drilling and uh, taking packer tests. So that went off uh, particularly well. Um, we got a statistically significant sample. So we filled up five drums, 150 litres each. Each one took about seven minutes. So that was well and truly over 1,500 uh, uh, litres per hour um, out of a, a two-inch um, pipe was pretty good. In fact, it was exceptional. And that's kind of what we expect because we're about uh, 500 metres away from our hole number three, which was um, uh, Jam 2405. Um the the actual assay will be taken. The bottle, three bottles will be taken uh, or were taken, and uh, they'll be sent to Salter and SGS and Alex Stewart will do the analysis for lithium as well as total dissolved solids and um, you know, the usual potassium, calcium, sodium, magnesium, boron, um, etc. Um, so we'll get a good good uh, view of what's actually going on. But we think we're right beside. Um, the solar basin, but um, there's been a lot of fluvial activity leaching lithium from volcanics, and uh, there's a lot of geological evidence in the core so far. We hit the, the jackpot in terms of black sands, which are biotite, which is there because the spodumene and the volcanics has broken down, um, and so we know there's lithium there. So um, although we've obviously got 551,000 tonnes of uh, inferred uh, lithium carbonate equivalent at the moment. So we're well and truly on the way. But uh, this has been great. The The testing that we do on site is typically temperature, pH, total dissolved solids and resistivity. Um, the specific gravity is up to 1.05. So we can see some total dissolved solids in there and probably some of that is um, lithium. And also the, the resistivity is quite low. Um, so we were... Um, able to um, to get a pretty good reading there, but it'll improve as we go because, as we know, with lithium, it concentrates at depth, and that's really what we want to uh, to prove. Uh, Phil, uh, remind us again uh, the other work that has been done in the Fomentera project. Okay, so this is a 600-metre well. Um, we've got the assay results probably first quarter 26. Then we're going to uh, put in a seismic survey uh, probably January, uh, early February because there's a lot of people on holidays over Christmas, New Year period, and uh, that'll give us the basement. And we hope that the basement is quite deep. Um, from the geophysics, it looks very deep, but we'll just um, uh, determine that through the seismic survey, and that will uh, hopefully give us a massive increase in the resource. From there, we'll have the environmental impact report submitted. We'll get the uh, pilot plant data submitted for the approval to build a thousand ton pilot plant there. And then uh, during the year, we'll go from a, a scoping study as soon as we get 50% uh, of the resource indicated with a mineral resource update and then move on to um, uh, pilot plant plans and uh, a pre-feasibility or definitive feasibility study later in the year. So lots of activity, lots of things happening at the moment. Uh, Phil, uh, another piece of, uh, I should say, uh, probably a tailwind for you. There's been uh, the increases in uh, lithium prices. Uh, stepping back from the project and uh, looking at the industry overall, uh, how's lithium looking for you? Look, it's it's amazing how fast the price went up. Um, uh, I, I looked at about 8900 and then a week later it was 9500 and then a week later it was uh, close to 11000 and then a week later it went up to 12800 and then... The following week after that, it cracked 13,400. So um, the, the rise has been significant. Um, there's been a couple of drivers there. Um, cattle's uh, mine not opening um, drove it up, but last time was only a 3% increase. Um, Gangfeng's chairman saying that uh, battery energy storage systems are going to be um, uh, needing lots of lithium. And also there's quite a few gigafactories, especially in the US um, and in Europe that are looking for lithium uh, 2026, 2027, and I think 
they're really saying, oops, we better get our um, contracts in place because um, we could be left out. And nothing worse than spending a billion dollars on a gigafactory and having no lithium to produce batteries. So I think that that's really the the FOMO um, effect uh, that's coming through the market at the moment. So we're expecting 2027 to be well over 15,000 a tonne. Phil, thanks for speaking with mining.com.au. Pleasure, Michael. Thanks very much for the opportunity.